Africa Global Radio. Our story, our growth, our future. Headlines across Africa. Welcome to Headlines Across Africa for today, 26th February 2024. I am Mary Ijapoma Kisi. In the headlines, movie about art objects looted from Africa wins main award at Berlin Film Festival. ECOWAS leaves school sanctions on Niger. And football legends unite in participation of charity football tournament. The documentary that Homer retells about art objects looted from Africa by colonialists and their first major return has won the top prize, the Golden Bear at the 74th edition of the Berlin Film Festival. The one hour film by French Senegalese director Matt Diop follows a horde of 26 treasures on their return journey from Paris to Benin, from where they were looted by French forces almost a century and a half earlier. Dahomey shows the celebrations in Benin's economic capital, Cotonou, that greeted the priceless artifacts, including a torrent wooden throne and life-size zoomorphic statues, but also shows young people asking what will happen to the thousands of objects that remain in French museums. Accepting the Golden Bear Award, Mati Diop expressed hope that objects of trophy art looted from Africa will be returned to the continent. She says, in quote, to restitute is to do justice. We can either get rid of the past as an unpleasant burden that only hinders our evolution, or we can take the responsibility and use it as the basis for moving forward. We have to choose. West African Regional Bloc, ECOWAS has lifted travel, commercial and economic sanctions imposed on Niger aimed at reversing coup that was staged in the country last year. According to the Bloc, it was lifting all sanctions of Niger while expecting that established protocols of free movement within the bloc will remain unchanged. Speaking at the news conference, the president of the ECOWAS Commission, Omar Ali Tour, explained that the decision is aimed at addressing existential threats facing the region and called on the three gentle-led nations, Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso, that have quit the bloc to rescind their decision. Mr. Tour says lifting of the sanctions on Niger is on purely humanitarian grounds. Nigeria's president, Bolatine who doubles as the chairperson of the ECOWAS Heads of State, stresses that the existential threats faced by the sub region demand that leaders re examine the approach to constitutional order. In hopes of supporting a charitable cause, Q Life, a cultural platform and an international media office, IMO, in collaboration with Education Above All, EEA, and the Qatar Football Association, QFA, organized a charity football match known as Match for Hope at the Ahmad Bin Ali Stadium. The event aims to raise funds for education projects in six countries, Palestine, Sudan, Mali, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Pakistan. Several football legends took part in the tournament, including Didier Droba, Roberto Carlos, Ricardo Kaka, Claude Makelele, David Villa, and Eden Hazard. Managers Antonio Conte and Asivenga coached their teams to victory on the football pitch. The significance of the March for Hope extends beyond sports, aiming to leverage the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 legacy to promote peace and education. And that is how we wrap up headlines across Africa for today, 26th February 2024. We'll come your way tomorrow with more news right here on Africa Global Radio. I am Mary Ejapoma Kisi. For this and more, check us out on africaglobalradio.com. On Facebook and YouTube, Africa Global Radio. On Twitter and Instagram, AF Global Radio.